Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. The Women's March is gearing up to take on Washington, D.C. again. But get this. This year, the Women's March is not endorsing the pink genitalia hats that made these liberal ladies so famous because the pink hats are not inclusive of trans women who don't have, you know, that which the hat depicts, or women whose um, lady parts aren't pink. Last year, the vulgar hats were empowering, we were told. This year, they're exclusionary. Make up your minds. Am I the only one who thinks it's hilarious that the Women's March thinks the pink genitalia hats are the exclusionary part of their club? I mean, if you're a pro-life woman, if you're a pro-life woman, if you stand up for the 400,000 unborn women and 400,000 unborn men who are killed by abortion every single year, you're not welcome at the Women's March. If you're a conservative woman, if you think hashtag hands off my birth control also means the government shouldn't be dipping their hands into our wallets to pay for somebody else's birth control, then you're not welcome at the Women's March. If you're a gun-toting woman, if you stand up for the 200,000 times a year when women use firearms to defend themselves from sexual abuse, well, then you're not welcome at the Women's March. If you're a Christian woman who doesn't want to rent your living room out to a lesbian wedding because it violates your religious beliefs, then you're a bigot and you're not welcome at the Women's March. If you're a white woman, you're not welcome unless you check that white privilege at the door. If you're pro-Israel, there's no room for you in feminism. If you dared to vote for Donald Trump, well, you're basically not even a real woman and you are definitely not welcome at the Women's March. But if you're a man who dresses up like a woman, if you're a feminist ally who champions killing unborn women, if you pretend to believe all women who accuse men of sexual harassment, but then conveniently ignore Juanita Broderick, Paula Jones, and the myriad of victims Bill Clinton assaulted, if it took you a week to condemn Democratic Congressman John Conyers, and you regret calling for, the, for pervy, disgraced Senator Al Franken to resign after a photo showed him groping a sleeping woman, if you wear black to Hollywood award shows after you've ignored decades of sexual abuse by powerful men and never said a word, then march right up. You are a women's rights warrior. Just be woke about it, will ya? Be sure you don't wear the pink hat or you might trigger the marchers whose crotches don't look like knitted headgear, you exclusionary bigot. Because the issue of including everybody in the women's march, yeah, the pink genitalia hats are the problem there. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.